Uh, what is up everybody? It's been a minute since I made a video. Uh, it's a beautiful day. I don't really have anything planned, uh, but I just wanted to go out and make some content. So I uh, also wanted to show you that the, uh, uh, I gotta blur out my fucking address so you weirdo something pop up here. But uh, yeah, so the drive shaft and the 373 gears have come in. Um, so I'm just waiting to get those installed. Um, I'm waiting on a few things actually. Um, American Muscle, they fucked me. Uh, I was supposed to get the Roush bumper in. I emailed them about it and they were like, oh, it's on back order still. Um, we'll get it to you as soon as possible. And I was just like, well, I just want to update on it. And I was like, I was like, if it's going to keep getting pushed back, I was like, I'm going to cancel it. Or I was like, I, but I also said, I was like, I don't have a problem waiting, but like, if you guys keep, don't give me status updates or whatever, I was like, I just, I just don't want it. So they canceled it without like truly communicating with me. So they kind of fucked me on that. Um, but they did refund me the money. So I was like, all right, whatever. Um, so now I'm in a predicament because no one has the Roush bumper. I really want that, but I also want to do the G350 bumper again. Um, so I'm in that dilemma. So I'm kind of just waiting around, seeing what I'm going to finally do. But like I said, it's a beautiful day out, so I might as well get some content. I want to get some photos of the car. It's been a while. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go do that and then go get some food because I'm starving. It's noon. I just woke up. I've been a bum. So I got to go do some stuff. <laughs> I don't like going to those self-automated car washes. My boy works at one, so I got to wash for free. But man, the tire shine just like slings up all on the wheels and, and just makes the brake dust stick out so much more. So I got to wash the car again. Uh, and, the, and it leaves all the paint swirls and scratches. I don't know if y'all can see it. Like I had a few already, but it just makes it worse. So always, always, always wash your car by hand. It might take a little bit longer, but it saves yourself the headache and you make sure it gets clean to your satisfaction. All right, I got a little bit of gas. I can't lie, your boy was was barely making it over here. Um, but you know, gas is stupid expensive, but I ain't gonna complain about it because you know I'm st I'm still gonna get gas. Like I, I don't get people complaining about gas prices. I I know you boys still getting gas, so don't complain about something you're still gonna do. Um, but yeah, so now I'm gonna go find a quick little spot to take some pictures at. I I don't know too many around here, which sucks. But uh, I'll go find something. It's a Saturday. I mean people are out and about so uh, if it's crowded it's crowded if not it's not i'm getting these pictures one way or the other i found my spot i was that guy i, I left my gas cap open after leaving the gas station i saw i was driving down the road with it flapping i was like oh i, I pulled it i did it <laughs> um but i found the spot i found a nice little spot i can't lie i've been watching some instagram or not instagram youtube videos on how to take better pictures with my phone and low-key i think they're turning out a little little good a little good so follow me on instagram same thing as my YouTube, uh, if you want to see how they came out. Um, and I've been learning a little bit on how to edit. I'm not going to be the best. Uh, I'm just going to kind of throw them out there just to dabble um, until, you know, I can get the car cosmetically complete how I want it to look. Um, but yeah, for right now, I think it looks pretty good. I still I, I still fuck with the white hood. I can't lie. I really don't want to paint it, but like, I'd rather everything be paint match because I really fuck with it though. And like, look, look at this. Look, look how caked up this wheel is. Like, I'm happy I took, I, I'm happy I got that side showing. But um, after this, I'm gonna get something to eat and then give you all an update on um, what's gonna happen next to the car on modifications, all that. And the turbo setup, I had a few people ask on what's going on. So I'll talk about that in a little bit. All right, just finished getting my little photo shoot. Shout out to, to bro who, who ran by me so that he liked the car, appreciate it. Made my day, um, but now it's time to get some food. But on the way there, I'll just chat it up with y'all for a little bit. Um, talking about what's going on um, with the car because honestly, it's it's been such a pain depending on, like honestly, I, like, I can't lie to y'all. I think I'm done buying from American Muscle. They've, they've just, I've had so, oh, well, there goes the SCT device. I've just had so many issues with them when it comes to shipping or stuff that just, like, hasn't come out right. And I'm sure a lot of you have as well. So I just said, I'm done with them. My go-to now is just LMR, CJ Pony Parts, Lethal Performance, those guys. Um, for, like, every, all the main stuff. Um, miscellaneous stuff, I'm, you know, eBay might be my go-to or whatever. Um, but, yeah, I think I'm just done with them. They just... They just screwed me over too many times where I'm just like, it's not worth it. So, um, there's that. And the turbo setup. So, 
the turbo I have, obviously a lot of you know, um, I made that video on it with that specific turbo. And I, 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 the amount of shops that don't want it, not that they don't want it, they, they just said the price to do it isn't worth it. So it's like, if I do the on three kit, it's like, all right, I just have this big ass turbo sitting at home that obviously is bigger than anything that the on three guys offer. So it's like, do I buy the on three kit, lay it down the line while I want to make more power, try and use part of that kit to make the big ass turbo I got at home work, or do I just go a completely different route? Because honestly, I do want to do a turbo. Like the whole build I have in mind is turbo based, but it's just like, it's it's just the hassle of, of having to plan all that out and no one wanting to actually put in the, the, the effort to really work with that turbo. So I feel like I, I wasted my money buying that one, even though it was stupid cheap. But uh, still, you know, it, it was money I could be putting towards something else. So my dilemma is the way of boost. Um, I, I The way I'm building the car anyways, like engine wise, doesn't really matter if I do supercharger or whatever. I'm um, keeping compression relatively stock. I'm not doing stroke or anything. Just built, you know, rods, pistons. Um, I, I was gonna do valves, but like I don't really want to touch the, the touch them right now. I don't need to. Um, everything I've been told is just just bottom in. Just do that. Just rods, pistons, and, and you can have a reliable six, seven hundred, depending on you know the the ones you go with. Um, of course, I have this stock trans, so I probably won't really be able to consistently hold more than you know 500 550 um without something getting messed up in here um which i mean honestly like i i, I can't lie i kind of wanted to blow i wanted to blow so i can like full send and just like justify getting a new trans in here um so yeah there's that um but yeah honestly i just don't like i i, I think turbo's probably gonna be the go-to off-rip honestly like I'll, I'll probably fight back and forth with myself a little bit more but i think turbo long term is what i'm going to do and then maybe down the line um either do a twin setup maybe or just go whipple i don't know i it's, just, it's that's the cool thing about cars it's everything's interchangeable you can always do something new and different so i'm just gonna keep playing it how i'm playing it um right now next up i have uh, suspension coming in so uh off of lmr i'm getting the uh j j and m i believe it's called it's a pan art bar kit with control arms lower control arms uh i definitely recommend anyone who lowered their car to get a pan art bar i didn't it's been almost a year and my ride has not been the same um it's drivable but it's not the most comfortable so i definitely recommend getting the pan art bar uh so that's coming in or i haven't ordered it yet but that's next up uh, and then I'm doing the full, I'm probably just gonna do all the suspension at once. So I'm gonna order the sway bars as well, along with the Ford Performance GT500 front control arms. Um, or, uh, one of my dudes on Instagram told me it's worth it. He just put them on his car. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna put them on as well, have a full suspension set up. And then I wanna get a drag. You see how I'm running on the street with a street tire. Uh, and then once everything's all dialed in, go actually to the strip, see what I run officially. And then once I get the uh, turbo set up and all that going, go back, see what I'm running. Um, Cause I don't, I don't want to be that guy to put a, a, a tire on an NA3 valve, you know, uh, just a whole drag strip for 320 horsepower or whatever. So I, I just, I just don't want to be that guy. So I'm going to do that. That's my plan um, for now. So I appreciate you all for, uh, you know, following along, you know, being, being uh, concerned, DMing me and all that. Um, super dope to see, so I appreciate all of that. Uh, but I'm about to go get some food now. I appreciate y'all, like I keep saying, like I can't get over it. Uh, we're at like 320 something subscribers now, which is completely insane. Didn't think when I started this channel, like I would consistently be growing like this. Like I remember first 20 subscribers, I was hype and I was just like, oh, this is dope. And then once I hit that 100, we are just rolling. So I, it really does mean a lot to me, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to keep pumping out wherever I can. So keep keep an eye on the channel. Uh, share with your friends. You know, share with your mom. Share with whoever. Uh, but, yeah, I will catch you all in my next video, which should be fairly soon because I have a sponsorship, our sponsor video coming out uh, whenever the product gets in. So hopefully sometime this week I can throw something else at y'all. But as always, take care, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all later.